Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Anticubic Wash and Cure Station. So, let's get started. Alright, so what I mean by station, it's really an all-in-one machine. It is super awesome, and Anticubic has sent it to me to review for you guys. I've actually been waiting a long time to be able to do this review. I just had to wait until there was uh, some products available for them to send me to show you guys how they work. So basically, this machine... It uh, takes away the hassle of having to use extra containers to put um, IPA or alcohol in to clean your prints. And then um, instead of having to set up a separate cure station with your own um, box with tinfoil or a rotating um, thing that you put your part on, this is an all-in-one machine where it cleans it and then you can cure it all in one. So it's super cool. I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys here. I'm going to clean up a little bit of my area uh, where my resin printers are and then we can get right into the review. I also want to say that I'm sorry that I haven't been posting for a while. Um, school has been a little stressful um, now that it's the new year things are getting better so again happy new year to you guys and um, I hope you enjoy this video. So again I apologize for not posting a lot but I do actually have a lot of videos planned that is including a laser review, a laser machine review, um, hopefully coming uh, this week or next week. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for those videos and let's get right into the video. All right, so I obviously moved it so you guys could see it a little bit better. But this is the machine and I first off want to say that this machine definitely was packaged very, very well. There was a lot of padding and so once you receive your machine, uh, it's definitely going to be safe and in good condition. So let's talk about what we get in uh, the box. So the first thing you saw me take out was uh, this manual. So it's just the washing care machine and um, it just basically tells you what to do and how to use the machine. But I will go over that with you guys here. Um, and uh, it just lets you know what the model is and all the details on it. Next, what we have is this bin here. So this is what you put your um, alcohol in to wash your machine. Um, as you can see, you have a, a little basket here. And this basket is for if you want to take your part off of um, your uh, build plate. But if you don't want to take it off your build plate, there is a stand here. It is actually in the packaging. And it uh, clips on to this up here. And it's super easy to install. So um, to install it, obviously check on the manual. And I believe it's like the first thing it tells you to do. So um, just checking out again here is where you can put the part in it. Or again, where you can uh, connect it to um, your build plate. So you can either use this black part for your platform Holder, I'm not going to do that because this part works just fine. So again, it just slides in the top here, up in this slot. And then you use your, you tighten down your build plate on there. And I'll show you guys in a second once we use it. Um, so that is the bucket really. And then you can also put the cap on it when you're not using it for when, say, you're actually curing your part. So let's take this off and then I'll show you how... To use the curing part so this just slides out and also the basket has a little holder in the back here uh, to hold it down and in place and then down here um, is your spinning uh, thing and this is what spins your alcohol around to um, mix it up so that all the resin gets off your prints and that works with a magnet down here so when you are not washing your prints and you uh, would like to cure it, all you have to do is use this uh, plate here. And obviously you could take the paper off um, and then it just slips down into this. You just have to find the grooves. And it should sit there. Um, and then uh, that is the turning table. So you set your print on that. And then there's LED lights here, and those turn on, and those are your blue lights, which cures your actual part. So, again, you wash it, and then you remove the bucket, and then you put your part on here and cure it. 
And while this is happening, you have your uh, clear uh, yellow plastic cover in here. So to keep in all the light. And just like that, you uh, cure your print. So let's plug this in and power it on. All right, so my print is done here. And I printed it on the Creality because I wanted to use the flexible build plate I have set up on it to make things easier for taking the actual part off. So if you have the Anticubic, it will work the same way with the um, holder for the build plate. But also don't forget to put on some rubber gloves to protect your hand from the remnants. So I'm going to open that up, but before I put my, or before I take that off, I want to set up the wash machine and fill it up with alcohol. So just take your bucket, you can leave everything in here. I'm actually going to take this out for right now. And I'm going to dump my rubbing alcohol into here. This is just the bucket I had before. I should have probably cleaned it out, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way. So I have about 1500 milliliters of alcohol in there. Um, I could add this alcohol. Now I'm going to add this also in there, but it is old and it has some particles in it. So I'm going to use a filter here to filter that out. Now I should probably be using brand new alcohol without adding the old stuff, but this is all I have for now and I'd rather fill it up as much as possible while I can. So now we have our container filled. So what I've realized now that I've used the Creality build plate, I can't actually use the holder for this because it doesn't have a uh, bolt like the Anacubic one does. So I'm just gonna have to pop the print off of the build plate. with my flexible build plate. And now I can put this in the um, container. And again, that is why the basket is in there. So in case that happens, you just pop it off and put it in the basket. So I'm going to actually rinse my hands off and then we can put the top back on. So just put the cover on. And now we can actually turn on our machine. So there's an on button on the side, as you can see. And I don't think we need to put the container top on. I think it should be fine the way it is. So just a close up here, um, it was originally set to cure and you just tap this button here and it goes to wash. And then I gotta do is um, over here, you can set your time. So I'm gonna do four minutes. Just click the time button and then press start. And you can hear it's starting to spin. And it is actually, as you can see, washing your print. All right, so it has finished washing. Now I wanna show you guys something really cool. So I'm gonna press uh, start again. And now one thing I wanna also mention is it's reasonably quiet. You can kinda hear it speeding up, but after about half the time, it actually slows down and then reverses the direction. So it cleans it more thoroughly. But also, if you do this, if you release the top, it actually pauses it. When you put it back down, it starts it up again. So that's one really cool thing about it. So I'm actually gonna stop it and take it out. And just like that, I can use the um, this guy. Now, one thing I just have actually realized was um, using this in there while um, spinning it, it kind of bent it here. So I'm not sure if uh, it's supposed to do that, but it actually has really cleaned the part. So now I'm going to remove the bucket 
And now I'm going to add that back in there. And then I'm going to add the turntable. There we go. And then you just add your part, put the top back on, switch it to cure. I'm gonna do cure for six minutes and start. And as you can see, the light turns on and it starts to cure it. So we're gonna let that cure and then we can check the final print out when it's done. All right, so the print is finished and uh, it cured for again, six minutes, which you can vary um, depending on what kind of print you have and how big it is. Um, but this is how the print turned out and it actually is a lithophane and you can kind of see it here. Um, it actually turned out really good. And um, it, the process of cleaning it up and um, curing it was super easy thanks to this awesome machine. So uh, yeah, that is how you use the wash and cure machine. Okay, so that is it for the video. Now you saw how easy that machine was to use. And honestly, it's gonna be a game changer while I use my resin 3D printers. It was so cool to use and definitely review for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions about the machine or details on the machine, uh, let me know down below in the comments. I will leave a link to where you can purchase it. You can get it on Amazon or I believe on the Anacubic store website. Uh, again, it was super easy to use and uh, makes things a lot easier. So you don't have to make your own cure station anymore or even your own wash station with uh, a way to wash your actual part. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Happy New Year. See ya.